Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kelly Crichton, I'm a short story writer and a crime writer. But in these videos at the minute, I am focusing on short stories, I suppose, because I have got a short story collection coming out in May, on the 7th of May, and it's called Everybody's Happy. Um, it is about art, shadows and self, and some of the stories are quite satirical. So this is one of those, it is called Regarding Jack Henry. It is about a young woman called Susan Winslow, who has had to go to the Women's Advice Bureau, um, the WAB, to put in a complaint and see if she could possibly sue um, her teacher, her lecturer in university, called Jack Henry. Um, because every time she's in his class, she, she um, gets bored to sleep. So while she's there talking to Penn, who is a general know-it-all and um, which is a bit absurd, Pin receives a parcel. <clears throat> Pin says, please don't think me rude, but I've been waiting for this forever. And she opens the parcel and adds, actually, it might interest you, Susan. <coughs> Excuse me. I sit forward and watch as she takes from the package a blade that at first I think is a knife. Then she pulls out a white leather ice skate and then another. I hear the door close behind me and the young man is gone. Wow, they are heavy. Want to feel how heavy? Asks Penn. And I always want him to be no trouble, to keep out of the way and stay quiet, feel inclined to say, no, thank you. But I know this is wrong and also rude. Recently, I have heard, learned that sometimes you should just say yes and take the mince pie you're being offered at Christmas because someone has bought the, in the ingredients and has been excited for you to have one. I have learned that in many areas. You should just do what you want. But I can't think now. I don't know myself. I don't know what I want. I only know that I once loved to skate and that this white boot and its identical sister are pretty to the point of mythical. I have been disallowing myself the liking of pretty things. Things that are not purposeful. Things I have judged as being extracurricular. I have been all work and no play and I have been trying to be one of the boys which hasn't been working on the architecture course. I am the only woman left on it and barely holding on. But Mr Henry, who I'm here about to put my claim in about, calls out our math scores. He calls everyone by their surname and adds a mister to the front, including my name, and I am sick of him not realising that I am a young woman. One who paints herself to be pretty for our lectures. One who gossips with April May about certain young men who sit beside me. Men who I find neither attractive or interesting, but I have been conditioned to be this way. Who the F am I? I'm leaning over the desk now and Penn is handing me the ice skate. Seriously, Lou, Susan, she says. Isn't it heavy? It is, I say. I remember the drag of my feet across the rubbery floor of the rink before I would get onto the ice and how the first time I ever skated was at April May's birthday party. It was girls only, of course, and we were eight years old. I hung onto the edges, determined to crack this nut of staying vertical, not speaking to anyone, not even if they spoke to me. When my mother came to collect me, April May's mother told her that I had just skated and skated I've honestly never in all my days seen such determination, she said. Susie didn't play once. She just skated the whole time and got pretty good too. Thank you.